What's up, guys? Nate Robenheimer here from Protoculture and back again with another tech tip with Sonic Academy. Um, today, I want to show you uh, how to add trance gates to create motion and a um, bit of movement in your tracks. Um, these kind of they're called trance gates because they're kind of made famous by a lot of the 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 old um, trance tracks from back in the '90s that used to use those sort of gated effects on pads and lead sounds. Uh, you know that da 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 very old school sounding um, gate pattern. Um, I do them slightly differently, and uh, I find uh, it's a lot. I can create a lot more interesting and varied patterns the way that uh, that I do them. Um, I'm gonna quickly first before I get to that, um, I want to run through a new little plugin that I've been using as well called uh, Transgate for a uh, VPS Transgate from Vengeance. Um, which is super handy as well. Very, very cool. Um, I do still like to do it manually because I can kind of just control the way that the pattern uh, plays out a lot easier. Um, but we'll we'll just run through it. Um, firstly, just these are the three sounds that I've loaded up. Just um, very simple pad, vocal sample, and a sort of bass pad sound. Alrighty, um, let's just quickly take a look at Transgate. Um, I'm just going to enable it on this pad sound here, yeah, and let's solo that. Uh, there we go. Okay, um, take off bypass. So you can see very simply, um, you can draw in your gate patterns over here. You can select between all the way from 128 down to 1, 1. Um, you can have triplets, doubles, or dotted notes. Um, they have, uh, you can tie um, segments together just like you would in a, sort of any sort of anal uh, analog style appreciator that you might find, um, which is pretty handy. You can, you can do some interesting interesting little rhythms. You have a decay function for um, snipping the decay off. Gate would be the length, so you can get quite fine little little chops. Um, and then you also have a mono stereo switch will, will let you affect um, the left and right channels separately and uh, I mean to illustrate that I can show that there's a few presets in here which are pretty good for there's an auto panning preset all the way down to side chain effects uh, which are pretty handy so yeah um, this is kind of uh, being very intuitive with the whole transgate concept or, or the gated effects concept there's quite a bit that you can do with it uh, for instance, like if you're turning down these decays really, really low, you could just feed white noise into this and create quite cool hat patterns um, for your tracks, for your drum tracks. Um, what I've done here as well is um, I load up just a very simple, deep unison pad sound. And um, with just a quick drop of this plugin um, and set it to... 16th and highlighted all of them so they all, all the gates are firing on every single note just turn down in the kid decay slightly and you have a pretty cool 16th note very very tight uh bass line um sometimes you know if you'll find synths won't fire um the envelopes won't fire as quickly as you want them to this thing fires extremely quickly and it's always very tight so it's it it can be quite a cool plugin for for doing things other than just gating pads as well so finally um i wanted to show you guys the way that i go about doing these um these these gate effect sounds um i'm just working on this vocal lead that we had we'll turn off the reverb and um delays for now um cubase has this little plugin which i didn't know about for years um i just kind of overlooked it called uh, midi gate it's been around since sx already i think um it's a very simple looking little thing uh it has a couple of controls you want to turn 
the release and the attacks all down. You can play with them afterwards, but I find I like to have them quite choppy, so I just turn everything down. Um, the most important is you want to set this um, note on switch to on and not off. So essentially what this is going to do is uh, this plugin will pass your audio through it whenever there is a note on signal detected. So when there is a note playing in a MIDI channel, then it will be able, you'll be able to hear it. And I'll show you that now. Um, what you do is you go and create a new MIDI channel. You call it let's put it MIDI gate two because we've already got the one there. And um, you need to assign it to uh, the vocal channel that you're working on. If you look at Vox lead insert MIDI gate. There we go. Vocal lead. So you need to link the two together. It is now linked. And I've taken the liberty of actually putting together a pattern. Um, well, we'll hang on to that for now. If we just play this back, you'll hear nothing sounding. But if I um, start playing on my keyboard. It'll start letting the, the audio through. Uh, what I do like about this is, is, is it gets um, you can do super fine changes to the to the pattern. Um, as you can see, like I, I go all the way down to um, one twenty eight notes here to edit these, and um, you can add a lot of variation. And um, there's even some of these with thirty seconds. They just kind of create this little roll effect. Uh, you get a lot more variation than just dealing with a 16th note pattern like most plugins will give you um, subtle little changes in each each bar. Uh, if I play it back to you, you can hear what I mean. So you, you can really get quite quite tight with, uh, with these patterns. Um, so what I like to do then is to just uh, finish it up um, just add a bit of, we'll just add some delay and some reverb. And uh, you can hear the effect that we get. Let's put it with the, the other sounds that we have. Um, let's just stick that back into. Here we go. So you go, a uh, very quick and easy way to inject a bit of life into some very uh, otherwise very boring pad sounds that had no not much movement before. Um, yeah, and uh, you know, um, use them intuitively. You can do a lot of cool things, as I said. You know, with percussion and uh, you know, feeding different sounds through it, you can you can use them all for more than just that uh, that sort of gated effects. But I I do really love them on vocals. It's it's something I do quite often in my tunes. Anyways, I hope you guys learned something and that you enjoyed the video. See you soon. Cheers. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.